Paradise is back for its second series, two of its stars, Sally Ruth and Barbara Flynn, join us now. Well, Hello. Welcome both of you. <laughs> Hello. Hello. Coming on. Hello. Good, good morning. For a second run, this is good. And it's been so successful as well. What do you, what do you think the secret is? I don't know. I think we're all very jolly and we have a puzzle every week and, uh, and Chris solves them Absolutely brilliantly. He does. And we've got lovely scripts, and um, once or twice we go to work on a beach. <laughs> it's all right for some What can important. be worse? Barbara, I mean, it, <laughs> the, the, she, the series was on for umpteen series, and suddenly it relocates back to Cornwall. And, and she thinks she's going to the Caribbean. Well, it's not. It, I mean, it, it is, of course, connected, isn't it, Sally? But, but it's, it's, it's quite different. Mm. It is quite different. I always wonder... Got the same magic. Yeah. It, it must have been lovely, obviously, Sally, you did do the Caribbean. Yeah. For the first two, three weeks, is it wonderful? And then do you miss home? No, because <laughs> I... <laughs> I was out there, I think I was only out there for about four or five weeks. Oh, yeah. Perfect. And I didn't get any of the hurricanes and I didn't get any of the bad weather. I think I just got it just at the most perfect time. So, no, I didn't. I had an amazing time. Oh, yeah. wonderful. Oh. Well, tell us what we've got in store because I know your character had a bit of a rough time last time. But yeah. Things are looking up for your character this year. This yes, time. yes, things are brighter for Martha. Um, so, we're following them <clears throat> on their journey to find out what family means for them and so they're exploring fostering oh. and they're right at the beginning of that journey and um, very nervous about it and want it to go well and, and want to be good at it and um, they just have lots of lots of love to give and they're hoping they can put it there oh that's lovely and what, Barbara what about Anne what's happening with Anne she, she getting back on the dating scene well y yes uh, yes after a long unhappy marriage yes and, and uh, I think she's coming to a bit um, after the death of her husband and and knowing she sees Martha and Humphrey very close they're living in close proximity she sees the and maybe this anyway she does she starts <laughs> this dating which is a completely foreign world for her and she's <laughs> completely lost and if it weren't for a great deal of help with the pushing and the swiping and the whatever you have to do <laughs> with, 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 uh, with uh, <laughs> Melina Melina um, um, is, is a, a, a gorgeous girl who plays um, Zoe and um, she's um, um, she comes in and she does instruct yeah and in um, lots of language and there's also a very um, wonderful person uh, who works at the farm shop who's quite a goer, and she's instructing her as well. <laughs> so she, so she, she has, she has a lot of information coming in, and she does have. She doesn't do lots of it. <clears throat> she just actually does two, really. And um, but uh, so what she does and, two men? No, no, she, she just meets two, two, men? Two, two, two connections or whatever. Oh, yeah. Yeah. What are they called? Anyway, um, I mean, we're, we're, we're not. Part it's of that it's completely not, match, matches, not my it? thing no. either. Match two matches. That's it. That's it. That's it. Strike whatever. And um, and she she does actually eventually hook up on the second date with. Um, um, uh, Richard, um, who um, is played by Peter Davison. And I mean, you've got to be happy with that. Uh, well, I, Peter I know. Well, Peter and I go there. way, way back. We, we go, go way back to Very Dr. Peculiar Practice. How way back are we talking? Well, <laughs> well, there's a series. I was doing Beck and Very Peculiar Practice one year, and Very Peculiar Practice was written by Andrew Davison. It was a very anarchic, wonderful thing about a, a, a medical practice on a very poor medical practice on a university campus. And, um, and he played a very nervous young doctor who came in, and I played this very, very strong, incredibly um, powerful mm. woman who, was, who had a very ambidextrous sex life, and she literally ruled. And he, was, he, he, was, he came in as the Hello. timid oh. doctor. Oh, oh, it's worth watching. <laughs> <laughs> and and, well. and then, uh, then I let, met him later on in um, something called Pat and Cabbage, where he played... The stronger person, and I played the sort of uh, the detective, but quite a shy yeah. um, person. Oh, and it's a lovely storyline, so though, isn't it? That a lot of people resonate with. I think that that kind of, you know, widower, widow, like, you know, the third act in life, and actually, yes. you know, giving it another go. Well, that's the thing about the series, isn't it? That it it seems to it touches on things that people can talk or don't really talk about, but need maybe to talk mm. about. Yeah. And the series, everyone watches it. But that's the great Every challenge. Age. That's why it's so successful. That's the great Maybe. challenge. Is you've got a murder mystery, basically, but you still care about these people. Yes. You, you, you tune yes. in to watch every I quite week. like the relationship between daughter and mother yeah, as well. We whether love or not she it. comes to terms with the fact that she's dating. I know. Not with your father anymore. I know, all of that. And she's very protective of her. And it's a new world and she doesn't want her to be vulnerable. Mm. But at the same time... She does go on a journey with it. She's mm. nervous at the beginning and becomes more accepting yeah. and more embracing. But it is, it's a lot of, you know, shifting of 
Well, with, okay. with, with the first series, the, 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 the IVF, the, the, <clears throat> yeah. you know, yeah. the wanting to have a family, is really a sensitive thing, which is so beautifully handled. Well, well, let's hear. Let, let's uh, no, no, but absolutely. And 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 it, you know, the, the the now the fostering. It's really. It's and the, there is that sensitivity that is yeah. Yeah. for us, which is one to watch. Let's take a look. We've got let's a clip. take a look. So you get on. Me and Zoe can cope. We don't want to be late. You sure. Positive. But we'll be back by three. I've got a date tonight. Another one. I wasn't aware you were keeping count. Oh, he's picking me up at seven, so I'll be back by three, so I can get ready. You need four hours. There's no point in even trying to explain it to you. Just wait until you're my age. All will become clear. Love it. I love it. Oh, oh, when you were pitched the show, were you like, Man of Mystery, great. And then there's quite, quite a lot of heavy subjects you've got. Um, I've heard about the show, cos we finished... I yeah. was Chris's exit storyline yeah. from, you know, the Caribbean. And then we were in the first lockdown and the phone rang and they said, we're thinking about their life afterwards, set in Cornwall. <laughs> <laughs> Love it. Uh, even Love if it doesn't mean. happen, it's like three weeks of just thinking about that while yeah. the world had stopped, you know. Um, <laughs> it was uh, nice to have stuff to get your teeth mm, stuck into. Yeah. And, um, and Cornwall, yeah. what a great place. I mean, Barbara, you're familiar. You've got the old... You, you do some Cornish craft, don't you? You do some jewellery? Well, no, I, I did spend a lot of time going down to West Penwith, which is the first sort of bump of of England, you know, yeah. up to Penzance and all yeah. that. Really rocky, quite... So it's gorgeous. beautiful, beautiful, bleak, sort of wonderful yeah. rocks. But all the jewellery in the well, show the, is but, yours, isn't it? Yes, well, that, that started as a hobby and then turned into a business. Lovely. And, and uh, the first designer was very sweet and said, oh, come on, Barbara, let's use it. And so it, it's been... Yeah, it's been... I've been very... Before well, we let you go, have either of you ever played in that theatre down there, was the open air theatre? Oh, the no, yeah. I haven't. No, you. but I've seen many shows down there because yeah. Linus kind of grew so up. So beautiful. Um, Unbelievable. Every summer. Well, oh. listen, Beyond Paradise continues 8 pm Friday, BBC One. Catch up all the episodes on iPlayer. Sally Barbara, thank you so thank much. Thank you for joining thank us. You. Thank, you. thank you. Thank you.